YouTube, what's going on out there, people? If you're new here, welcome. Truly glad everybody stopped by. Welcome to the show. Um, okay. Before I actually get into it, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, and I, I would like you guys to comment below. Are you guys, you know, are my videos too long for you? Because sometimes I get... I get the feeling that you guys aren't listening to the whole video. I've said a couple of things in, in, in the last couple of videos I put, and I didn't get any response from them. So I'm wondering if you guys are actually, you know, listening to it and, and, and taking some of the tricks and tips that I got for you. Shout out to the astronaut for this one. I'm actually glad he made a light version. It is actually two versions of this. Okay. This is this will be the light version. Um, if you guys try um, the other version and it works for you, cool. It really didn't work for me. All right. But like I said, this is the light version. Now, another thing about this. Guys, at, I, I see a lot of things changing in the community is a lot of things changing and if you guys like this app you might have to change with the app sometimes you guys gonna get the things you want and sometimes you're not gonna get the things you want all right anytime you guys get to any setup or anything please allow it a few ticks just so it can do what it has to do all right now, let's go on the skin settings before we start moving around here. Um, I want to just make sure. Looking for something. I don't really see it. Looking for it. Here it is. Enable autocomplete. Hey guys, let's try to get this one on whenever you get to any setup. Let's try to get this enabled. Okay. You always want this. If you guys search for things, you're going to want this. Okay. And all this does is give you a virtual keyboard. So when you search for things, it'll just automatically come up with some presets for you, help you along the way. Now, it's real important once you guys get this, as you can see what it did, just make sure you guys turn it on. That's very, that's key here. All right. <clears throat> pretty, pretty stand up, pretty stand up setup. Um, I, I'm going to tell you guys, anytime you guys get to a setup, you, you're going to have the same thing. You know, me going through it, and stuff like that. If you guys not feeling the the background, you're really not. I know you're not going to get it. But pretty much it's standard for every setup to come with the same thing. Okay? Sometimes you might not have sports or sometimes you might not have um, LT. But you will have basically the same things. Uh, your movies, TV, whatever. You'll basically always have that, you know? Sometimes you might not get a kid section. Something like that. But my thing with any setup when you're dealing with this app is actually the settings. And, and that's why I know sometimes it can get repetitive. I'm always doing the settings. He's always doing settings. He's never showing us. But that's, that's the best part for you, you know, to go through something. You know, because everything I like, you might not like. So... It, it, it's not hard. It takes about five, ten minutes to get everything set up. If 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 you don't have time like that, you're probably on the wrong channel. I like for people to experience things for themselves, that, so they can get the same joy that I got out of it. Let's go on the system. What I want to focus on here is player. Okay. Now, when you come to player, what you want is this to be on expert okay you always want it to be on expert sometimes if you guys don't see it immediately at the bottom you can press left 
and you'll see the settings there. And I know the font and things like that. You guys might not be feeling the font, but you can change the font also. I'll show you guys how to do that. But right now, what I want to do is um, focus on enable HQ scalers for scaling above. Me personally, I like to have mines on 100 for all of the devices, 3 gigabytes and up. Okay. For your medium devices, like your Fire TVs, Cubes, as well as your NVIDIA tubes, I tend to like to have those on 50 or 60. And for your small end devices, like your Fire Sticks, etc., I like to have those on 20 or 30. I'm currently on the Shield. All right. Now, people check this section because sometimes you can get something that's not right for your device. Okay. You can have it actually set too high. Okay, and you can get the information on this. As you can see on the bottom, it tells you what this is for. All right, don't want to spend too many ticks on that. Um, where is it? Let me see. Here it is right here. Interface. If you guys want to change the font, okay, all you have to do is go here. Okay, you can change it to anything you would like. There's Arial. Okay, you can change it to no two if you want. Anything you would like. Me personally, I'm just going to keep it on the skin default. I kind of like it. All right. So if you guys want to do that, just go in the system and go right to interface. You shouldn't have a problem with that. Now, let me see. Where, where am I? Let's go to the add-on browser. Okay, you always want to make sure everything's updated and ready to go. All right. Um, and what you want to do is make sure here in Video Player Input Stream, you have your Input Stream Adaptive enabled. All right. And in this particular setup, the RTMP input is actually in the background. Let's go try just to get it, just in case. Let's go to install from repo. And then let's go to all repos. Let's go back here. Okay, it installed now. It wouldn't install for me the other day. And that just goes to show you how this works. I tried to install it. It never installed. I actually knew it was already here, though. And sometimes it happens like that. You got to give it a day or two. Maybe restart your device. And it'll come up okay but make sure you guys have this enabled and if you guys want to get the information on this all you have to do is long press on it and get the information with the power of Google you will know what this does and you will know what the input stream adaptive does just long press on it see what it says and you can Google anything <laughs> All right. Um, nothing else but us to nothing else for me to show you guys, but the wizard. Now, when I get to the wizard, the first thing I like to do is go to maintenance. Okay. And once we go to maintenance, I like to give myself a total cleanup. Okay. After I get a total cleanup, I like to go to tools. Now, there's two things you can do here. You can actually go to quick config and write the file. You'll get some presets here. You can use those if you would like, but just don't forget to write the file. Me personally, I like to go to full config. Okay. And I usually, my video cache size, I usually bump that up. I leave my curl time out alone and go straight to the read buffer factor. Bump that to 10. And then I like to go to buffer mode. And instead of it being on 2, I like to actually put it on 1 and just write the file. Whatever you guys should, whatever choice you should make, please, after you have written the file, all you have to do is restart your setup and you should have a decent experience here. Okay, no problem, no no hiccups with this or anything, okay? 
Let me know how you guys like this one. If you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe. But most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells, people. As always, I'm hoping you're having a blessed, peaceful, and a productive day. Love and peace for all. Never forget, it is good to be good. And it is bad to be bad. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace.